Hi again, this is Lucy Gray, and I am following up with my first uh, screencast about uh, forming collections in Participate Learning at participate.com. This time, I want to talk about bookmarking and how you can bookmark things while you're surfing on the internet right into your Participate Learning account, and then you can put those resources into collections as needed. So the first thing you need to be able to do is you need to be able to have, um, uh, I'm gonna. I'm on my dashboard right now. So I'm logged into participate.com. I've clicked on my dashboard underneath my account, and I'm going to show you my bookmarks. These are all bookmarks that I have added on the fly while I've been um, doing research on the internet. And then I can take any of these and add them to any pre-existing or new collections that I find. So I find this to be really useful for when I'm trying to do things pretty quickly. So um, the way that you do this is, A, you need to be using the Chrome browser. I'm using Chrome here, Google's Chrome browser. And you need to install ahead of time uh, a special little tool called an extension. You find extensions in the Chrome Web Store, which is chrome.google.com slash web store and you search for the keywords participate learning and you're going to see something in the middle of the page that says participate learning bookmarks this little tool is added to chrome with a blue button and what this will do is it will allow you to bookmark on the fly without having to be in the participate.com website okay so i i've already installed mine and my extensions appear in the right hand side in my browser and this one that I'm looking for in particular is PL here, Participate Learning. Um, yours may float down the right hand side of your browser too if, you're, um, if, you're, if your Omnibox here is you know, too big or it may, it may push the extensions down. So look for that little arrow there to see other extensions if you've installed them. If you've not installed a lot of extensions, you're not going to see a lot of icons here, by the way. I, I'm kind of an extension addict, and so that's why you see lots of them here. Anyway, I'm going to go do some search, searching for a topic. Um, my topic that I'm going to be searching for is um, computer science curriculum in kids. So I'm going to type in computer science curriculum. resources and uh, this is the computer science teaching association so I'm going to click on their resources and I think I'd like to bookmark this for future reference so I'm going to click on my extension and boom it's gone it's in my bookmarks right there okay and we'll take a look at that in a minute and then I may want to find some other things that may be useful. Here's code.org's um, recommended curriculum. And I'm going to, again, click on here, and it's in my bookmarks. And then I can keep going and seeing if there's anything else that I think would be really, really, really useful. Um, here's something from Computer Science Education Week. This looks really good, too. So I'm going to add it to my bookmarks. Now I can click on this link right here and view my bookmarks or, or I can go right back to my account and refresh it by doing Command R on my Mac. And you're going to see all of those resources that I just bookmarked on the fly. You're going to see them right here in my list of bookmarks. I'm going to go through here and now add them to my computer science for kids resources. I can add more to it if I want to. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And uh, so then now these will also not only be in my bookmarks, but they'll be in my collection of resources related to computer science for kids. So that's how you bookmark on the fly. You're going to use Chrome. You're going to go to the Chrome Web Store and install the Participate Learning um, extension. You're going to 
search for resources that are relevant to you and then you're going to click on the extension and add it to your bookmarks and boom they're going to be in your bookmarks for you to look at um, whenever you need to okay so I'm a big believer in teachers becoming curators and finding the best resources out there for their students participate learning can help you get organized with all of this and develop a system for uh, for curating these for curating content and scaffolding it for your children so thanks for listening and in my next segment I'm going to talk about um, another thing that I think is just amazing with participate learning and that is participate chats so I'll show you how that works in my next segment thanks for listening <music>